Welcome to another parent-teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. And welcome to lesson 44. Uh, this is a lesson, uh, it's called Linear Measurement, and in this lesson I will show you some ways to uh, introduce your child to, to that concept and some of the, the tools uh, that, that can be used to measure lengths of things. And here are the materials you will need. Uh, paper and pencil or whiteboard, uh, 30 or so small like objects, uh, Paper clips work really well. I have two different sizes here, but this will give you an idea. We'll be measuring things by uh, using, using these paper clips or any other small like object will work around this size. I like paper clips. I think they're good for this task. Uh, 30 or so one inch color tiles, and I don't have to explain these to anyone. We've used these before. And as you, you can see, they're all the same color. Uh, don't use multiple colors or your, your child will get lost in another another realm other than the one you're trying to teach him and we've talked about that before. Uh, Twelve or so of these uh, one inch color blocks and they're actually cubes and we'll use these to measure the height of an object. Uh, two 12 inch rulers with half inch gradations and by that I mean there's a, a tick on the inch and on the half inch. Uh, and you may be tempted to just use regular rulers, but I would advise against that. It will really uh, boggle your child's mind to see all those other lines in there at one quarter and one eighth, et cetera. So use uh, rulers like this with half inch gradations. Um, a tailor's tape, and everyone's seen one of these before. Flexible uh, cloth or plastic tape and a tape measure. Uh, most people have one of these around the house. It's a retractable tape measure. I think it's a steel or spring steel. And there's a safety uh, issue with this because it's, it, it, has, it has a spring inside. So uh, we'll talk about that when we, when we look at how we're gonna use this. And this one is 25 feet, by the way. Yours does not have to be that long. Perhaps a you know, 10, 15, or 20 foot tape measure will, will do the trick. So whatever you have around the house. And finally, everyone knows what this is. It's a yardstick, and it looks like it just fits in the frame here of the, of the camera. And I don't think that needs any explanation. It's, one yard, three foot long, 36 inch, and this particular one is an aluminum uh, yardstick. Of course, there are wooden ones also. So I think perhaps a good way to start um, exploring this concept of linear measurement with your child would be uh, perhaps to just uh, measure a few common items uh, using what I call objects of uniform length. And uh, as you can see, I've made this chain. Uh, I've, I've attached some paper clips together. So I've made what I'm going to call a measuring chain and we will be measuring some things with this. So it's, a, it's an informal, what I would call a very informal inter introduction to uh, linear measurement and it'll be a great place uh, for you and your child to get started. So as you can see here, this is a, a marker. We'll start out with something simple like this. And how would you measure this marker? And this is going to be our measurement device. 
our measuring chain and what uh, you want to show this to your child, what you want to do is to line up one end of your measuring chain with the end of the marker. And as you can see, that's what I'm doing right here. I'm holding it down and uh, stretching it a little bit. And then you can count the number of paper clips. One, two, three, uh-oh, almost four. And of course, uh, using this method, we're go we will have to approximate. So, and this will be a good lesson for your child to learn the concept of approximation. So, how do we approximate? One, two, three. Well, should I count this one or shouldn't I? And my rule of thumb and the general rule of thumb is, since we're approximating, we want to say it is approximately uh, so many um, paper clips long. I'm going to guess where the middle of this paper clip is. I'm going to say right there. And is the object past the middle, past one half of the paper clip? And as you can see, it is. So I'm going to count this paper clip. So let's say that this marker is four paper clips long. Okay, let's uh, move on to something else, a little different here, a rectangular object. Here we have a sponge, and uh, let's measure that. Uh, once again, we line up the, the uh, measuring chain of paper clips right at the edge. We call lining that up for measurement right where the, uh, this edge is here. Uh, Stretch it out a little bit, and now let's count the, ch the uh, paper clips. One, two, three, four, and it goes into the fifth one here. Let's see if it, we should count it or not. I'm going to say there's about the middle of the paper clip, and it looks a little less, so we're not going to count it. So we're going to say it's one, two, three, four paper clips long, and at this point, uh, you can start to introduce some of this measurement vocabulary. Uh, its uh, length is, is the word you want to use. You could say this, this uh, sponge has a length and it is one, two, three, four, approximately four paper clips long. So uh, some new vocabulary for your child to, uh, as they get started as he or she gets started in uh, learning about measurement. So, and of course with, with an object like this, it has more than uh, just one dimension, this length here. Uh, for the most part, um, we measured the marker. It, it's, it's what I would call skinny. We were not too concerned with, with uh, the thickness at this point. This one, as you can see, has a, uh, another dimension. And of course, as you and I, and, and I know, it's called width. So once again, let's line it up. Uh, we'll line up the end of the paper clip with the end of the object. Let's count them off. One, two, and a little bit more. I'm going to guess the middle of the paper clip is about there. It looks a little less. So let's call it two paper clips wide. So there's yet another word wide, and you could say we're measuring the width, W-I-D-T-H, of this sponge. So let's see, maybe let's do one more here. How about this book? Let's start out with the longer side first. Longer, there's a, yet another long, longer length, all great uh, vocabulary for your child to be learning in this exercise. And of course you can compare different things uh, and ask what's longer, what's shorter, and, uh, and uh, things like that. All right, I'm going to line it up. Of course that's the first thing we always have to do. For example, if you put, put it here, that wouldn't give you any information at all. It has to be lined up with the edge of the book. Oops, I'm going to count the paper clips, one, two, three, four, five, a little less than five, but we know that's definitely more than half, so we're gonna say it's five paper clips long. That is the length of the book. 
and now we're going to do the width. And I guess I should say at this point that uh, it's customary that the measurement, the length is always longer than the width. So that's usually the way uh, you, you would look at measuring something like this. Length, and we use the word by width. We'll get into that uh, shortly. Um, but usually the length is the longer measurement. So let's measure the width. All right, I'm lining it up over here. One, two, three, just about four, a little over four. So we know that's going to be four paper clips wide. So, uh, you know, keep emphasizing all that, all that vocabulary. So let's see. Oh, I know one, one more thing I can show you is uh, what if, what if I decide to make a chain out of the smaller uh, paper clips, meaning the ones that aren't as long as you can see, these are shorter than these paper clips. Uh, would it take more paper clips? Would the number be higher than if we use these? And that's probably a pretty easy uh, thing for your child to figure out. Uh, let's see, we did, that was four of the large paper clips. And you could say, do you think it's gonna, the number is gonna be more or less when we use these smaller ones? And once again, this is a very informal approach to uh, learning how to, to measure things. We're just trying to get concepts and make comparisons and things like that. And of course, you and I know that it's, it's going to be, there's going to be more of these. And uh, I've got to make a little fix here. Sorry about that. There, it's going to take more of the, the number is going to be larger. So that was four and this is, oh, line it up. One, two, three, four, five. This is about six. So that's a nice thing to do too. And it kind of brings a point home and we'll look at it a little later in the lesson that of course it's very important that you be consistent with whatever you're measuring with. Like if somebody measures with a paper clip this size and somebody measures something with a chain of paper clips this size, of course, they're going to get different measurements. And like I said, we'll explore that more in just a bit in this lesson. Let's measure the height of an object using non-standard units. And the object I chose is this drinking glass. And the non-standard units will be this, uh, these one inch cubes, wood cubes. Uh, and when you're measuring height like this, you need to have something that you can stack. And of course, these fit the bill perfectly. And um, I'm going to start like this start placing a, a, a cube right next to the glass. There's one and stack two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it looks like that's almost exact. Um, got lucky there. And of course, if it isn't, uh, you will, you will have to do, you and your child will have to do some approximation, but this uh, glass, is seven cubes tall. And uh, tall is another word you could throw in there. I just use it. And of course, uh, you could say uh, it's seven cubes in height, seven cubes high, or you could uh, even introduce the word tall, which is probably a word undoubtedly that, uh, that your child already has in their vocabulary.